An Azure Virtual WAN, or Wide Area Network, combines several different networking resources in one location. It can allow you to manage branch offices, site-to-site -site VPN connectivity, VPN express routes, and Azure firewalls using just one interface. So let's go into the Virtual WAN. After doing a search, I can click on Virtual WANs and my list comes up and right now I don't have any so I'll go ahead and create my first one. The wizard comes up I'll go ahead and choose my Ascend Store and I'll put in the name and I'll call it VWAN1 and under the type I can choose Standard or Basic. Standard has the most options when creating that. Basic just has a few options when managing network connections between sites. I'll click Next my validation passed, so I'll click on Create. And there's a lot more pieces to this. Just creating the WAN is going to be the first step. There are going to be other resources that need to be created, say if you're going to create a VPN connection between sites. And my resource has been created, and now I have a lot of different options here. On the left-hand side, we have the option to add in hubs. And virtual WANs are based on hub and spoke technology. So you create a hub and then you create spokes to connect to that hub in the same way you would any local area network. You can also create VPN sites to connect to those hubs. And if you like, you can create VPN configurations so users can connect directly into this hub. Creating the virtual WAN is the first step, but there's still more steps to creating your VPN tunnels using a virtual WAN.